we're gonna get going with some T rotations for this warm up. So I want you to spread your feet wide, wider than hip width, toes are pointed forwards. We're gonna bring our arms out at a 90 degree angle with our body. I want you to keep your knees relatively straight and I want you to rotate, try to get towards the toe. You don't have to touch the toe. Come back up, just a couple second hold in that bottom position. We're getting a little bit of rotation uh, with the core. I want you to keep this nice and tight. Uh, don't have a relaxed belly. We're just gonna go back and forth till we get about five of these on each side. Feeling that stretch in the hamstrings on the back of the leg, keeping that belly braced. What do I mean by that? Imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. That's that brace you should be holding. You can still breathe while you've got that going. So remember that. We're gonna be using that brace a lot for all these core classes. All right, let's go one more on each side. Perfect. And then shake it out. We are going to move to inchworms. So from here, I want you to keep your knees straight you're going to bring your hands to your feet or as close to your feet as you can get them. Walk it out. Keep your belly tight in this plank position. And then using just your feet, I want you to walk back up and try to get as close to your hands as you can. Stand back up. If you need to modify this, bend the knees a little bit. Come down, walk it out. You can bend the knees just a little to get you up to a position or you can stand back up. We're gonna do two more of these. Walking it out. Good plank position, keep that core tight. Glutes are squeezed. Walking those feet back towards the hands. Let's do one more. Walking it out. Walking the feet back towards the hands. Nicely done. All right. Last standing warm up exercise. We're going to step it out. This is one of my favorite ones. If you were with me in class last night, uh, we did these two. We're gonna step it out. We're gonna bring the elbow, same side elbow towards the floor. Notice in this position, I want my back knee as high as I can get it. I don't want it towards the floor. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to open the arm up towards the ceiling and then step back up to standing. So we're, we call this the Spider-Man stretch. So we're coming down. And if you can only get your foot to here, that's fine. Stay there and then open up and then get back to standing. Let's do two more of these. We're coming down, try to get that foot as high up to, as you can. Elbow comes to the floor and then you rotate making sure that you're following your hand with your sight. All right, one more on the other side. That knee stays up. We wanna to try to get that hip flexor stretch because chances are we're spending way too much time sitting. That's just kind of the way the world is these days. Now that we've got those out of the way, we got one more warm up exercise. I want you to pop down towards the floor. We're gonna be on our back here and I want you to bring your, your, your feet up, knees at 90 degrees, arms are towards the ceiling. We call these dead bugs. As you can probably see by the, the uh, setup, what I want you to do is I want you to drive your low back into the floor. Don't let that come up. Arms stay towards the ceiling and we're just gonna drop one foot, keep it two inches from the floor, hold it there for two seconds, and then come back up to 90 degrees. Alternate legs here. It's gonna feel like you're not doing anything if you're not focused on keeping that low back pressed in the floor. And we do that by keeping the core and those abdominals nice and braced. So keep going here. We're gonna do about five on each side. And if you want to, you can kind of hold a slight crunch, pick your head up a little bit, don't bring your, your uh, chin to your chest, but you're gonna feel more activation in those abdominals. Let's do one more on each side. Perfect. And I know what y'all are thinking, that felt like a core exercise in itself. It was, but it's a good warm up to kind of activate all that 
And with that out of the way, we got a warm up. Hopefully you're feeling, you're feeling ready to tackle this. We're gonna be doing three exercises, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So it's gonna be quick transitions. We're gonna do that three rounds. Uh, then we're gonna move to two more exercises at the end where we do 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off again for three rounds. And then we'll do a quick cool down and that'll be it. So with that said, let's go over these three exercises. First one, hands are gonna be underneath our butt. Knees are gonna be straight. We're gonna start here, <clears throat> raise your legs up. And then what I want you to do is you're gonna come up with two and then down with one. So do your best to use those lower abdominals to drive your heels towards the floor. If you can only get up just a little bit, that's fine. Do what you can do. If you need to, you can bend the knees a little bit. That'll make it a little easier. So those are two up, one down leg raises. Then we're going to move to this position, one foot down, one leg up. Use your arms to climb up your leg and try to get to your toe. Don't feel like you have to get all the way up to here. If you can just get here, that's fine. So we're gonna do 15 seconds on one side. I'm gonna call out a switch, 15 on the other. So that's our leg climbs, that's second exercise. And then the last one is gonna put lower and upper together. So the first exercise was lower, second exercise was upper, the third one will be putting them together. This is called a double crunch. We're gonna stay tight here in our abs. And then what we're gonna do is as the knees come in, we're gonna crunch up. So in this top position, the only thing touching the floor is my low back. Bring it back out and then back up. If that becomes too hard, I want you to bring the legs to the floor, rest in between and then come up. You wanna make it harder, keep them floating. All right, y'all, we are going with that two up, one down leg raise in three, two, one, begin. So two up. One leg down, drive those heels towards the ceiling. Keep that core brace the whole time. If you need to, you can just hold this hovered position. But we got two up, one down, five, four, three, well. two, one, yeah. time. Nicely done, y'all. All right, one leg up, doesn't matter which one. One foot is down. We're going leg climbs. Climbing up those legs, going now. Like I said, you can pull from the leg more to help you get up if you need to. The less you pull on the leg, the harder it's gonna be. All right, switch legs. Same thing on the other leg. Stay with it, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, last one here, double crunch. Start here, hands behind the ears. Three, two, one, bring the knees in, then crunch it in. Knees come back out, then they come back in, crunch it in. Stay with it, y'all, I know. Everything on that front side of the body is burning right now. You're almost there. Remember, put those feet down if you need to. Rest for a second, then pick it up where you left. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. All right, flip it over. We're gonna stretch it out real quick. So we're gonna start by laying, and then press through the floor to stretch out those abdominals, which we really, really, really just got super tight. Create separation between those shoulders and your ears, and then press back. All right, that was one set. Let's reset back to our backs. We got our second set coming up quickly here in about 10 seconds. All right, two up, one down leg raises once again. Hands underneath the butt. Three, two, one. Feet are up. Drive those heels towards the ceiling, and then drop one leg. 
Try to get that, those hips up as much as you can. If you can just do a little movement, that's still working those lower abdominals. So do what works for you. We got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, leg climbs next. One foot down, one leg up. Knee as straight as you can get it. Three, two, one. Try to climb up that leg and touch that toe. Easier said than done, I know. So just climb up as high as you can. And then we're gonna switch legs in three, two, one. Switch it up. Stay with it, y'all. Push yourselves. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, last one, double crunch. Then we get to rest. Hands behind the ears, make sure you're not pulling. Three, two, one, go. Knees come in, then we meet it with the upper body. Keep your belly as tight as you can. We want that low back driven into the floor. Remember, this is a tough one after what we've already done. So if you need to rest for a couple seconds, and then pick up where you left off, definitely do that. We got five. Four, three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. All right, let's flip it again. Stretch it out again. So start in laying. And we're just going to keep those knees down, hips low. Drive through the floor. Turn your side up towards the ceiling. A couple deep breaths here. And then drive it back to the start. We got one more round here. Stay with me. Grab a little bit of water if you need it. And then we're going to get into it one more time. So start on our backs. Two up, one down leg raises. We're going in three, two, one. Begin. Keep those knees as straight as you can. Thrust those hips up, heels towards the ceiling, then drop one leg. Stay with it. I know it's burning. We're almost there. Three, two, one, relax. Good job, y'all. Stay strong. We're moving to those leg climbs. Pick a leg to straighten out. Three, two, one. Climb it up. If you need to, you can use a little bit of momentum. Obviously, if we want to make it harder, try to kind of restart each time. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Other leg comes up and we're climbing. And three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, last one. We got our double crunch. 30 seconds and we're done here. We're going in three, two, one, begin. Knees come in, then we meet it with the upper body. Float them back out. Keep your low back pressed into the floor. We want to really challenge those abs to maintain that spine position. This is the hardest one we're doing today. So keep fighting. We're almost there. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. Let's flip it around one more time. Lowering it to the floor. Let's get one more cobra stretch here. If you want to enhance this more, you can definitely bring the knees up for that true cobra. And then bring those down. Drive back into child's pose just for a couple seconds.
All right, y'all, so that was the first grouping. We got two more exercises. Just for the sake of time, we're gonna run through these twice instead of three times. First one is gonna be a front plank walkout. So we're in plank position. Glutes are squeezed, core is tight. I want you to walk the feet back. Hold this position for a second or two. Walk them back forward. Modified for this is gonna be from the knees. And instead of walking the feet, I'm gonna walk my hands. So what happens is when we increase that lever length, it's gonna make it harder on the core. And your job is to stay as tight as you can to maintain that straight, flat spine. All right, so that's our first one. And then we're gonna drop it. So after we do our plank walk and walk back in, we're gonna drop it to the floor and we are gonna do W Supermans. So <clears throat> elbows are a little less than 90. We're going to come up from this position on our stomach, squeeze, come back down. Up, squeeze. So a little bit of back strengthening. All right, we are going with that front plank walkout in five, four, three, go pop up in a position, two, one, go. Walk it out, only walk out as far as you can stay stable. If my hips start dropping, I know I've gone too far, so I'll walk it back in. Remember to breathe here. It's real easy to forget that and reflexively hold your breath as, as your abs are really trying to tighten up. So try to avoid that. Three, two, one. Time, drop it to the floor. Elbows at 90. And we're going W back extensions or supermans in three, two, one, go. Come up, keep the knees straight, squeeze, couple second hold, then come back down. If that's a little bit too much on the back, forget about the legs and just do the upper body. We're halfway there. Stay with it, y'all. Three, two, one. All right, quick transition. We're back up to plank. Last time doing these two, and then we'll do a cool down. Three, two, one. Back to our plank walkout. Walk it away from you as far as you can. Hold for a couple seconds. Squeeze those glutes. Keep the core tight. Bring it back up. Obviously, the longer you stay in this extended position, the tougher it's going to be. So keep that in mind. We got 10 seconds to go here. Three, two, one, time. Drop it to the floor. Last set of W Supermans, and we are done. Three, two, one, begin. Two or three second hold when you come up. Remember, like I was saying last time, if you want to make this a little easier and not as intensive on the lower back, you can keep the legs down. Ten seconds, y'all. Home stretch here. Three, two, one, time. Good job. All right, since we're already down here, let's go ahead and press up for one more abdominal stretch. Keep those hips low. Create space between your shoulders and your ears. Look up towards the ceiling. Give me a couple nice big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, on this next exhale, I want you to press into child's pose. So big inhale, as you exhale, press the floor away from you, sink those hips towards your feet, try to sit on your heels, reach, reach, reach with those arms, relax the head. I want three big deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and we will be done. All right, and come on up. 
That is it. Thanks so much for coming to our second Core Express.